The Frozen Wilds is an expansion of Horizon Zero Dawn. It's also a brand new adventure for Aloy that opens up a new place for her to explore and gives her a new central mystery to kind of dig into. We're going to be going to the Cut, which is a part of the Banuk territory. The Banuk live in an area called Banur, and it's actually set in a northern part. It's very icy, very cold, and a very hostile environment. You're going to be going into a region that has been settled by the Banuk. It's not actually their homeland. This is not a place where you're going to find big cities or settlements. You're going to find these kind of scrappy outposts, places where people are trying to find a footing and hold on. Even before we began work on the Frozen Wilds, we'd written dozens of pages about the Banuk. But this was really an opportunity for us to flesh that out so much more, you know, to really focus on them, put them in the spotlight, try to imagine all of these details about their warrior and hunting culture, really dive deeper into their kind of mystical beliefs, and then find ways of having that fuel the drama of the quest that you're going to be taking part in as you explore this region. One of the processes that we use to design our tribes is a process that we call intrinsic ideation. And it's a process where we first of all look at where this thing has come from. Everything has to come from the world. They don't really have any ability to farm. So all of their survival is based on hunting. You have to be nomadic, you have to be on the move. If there's herds moving around, you have to move with the herds. So these people don't build sort of settlements that have always been there. They actually have very mobile camps that they move along as the herds move through the landscape. I'm not here for glory. I'm here for the mountain. We work in great collaboration with all the different disciplines here, and the art and concept team had a huge role in developing the Banuk. They had really uh, done a lot of the work in terms of how the Banuk kind of would fit into the environment. As Yellowstone was a big Part of the inspiration for the Banuk, it dictated their attire in the sense that what they wore, uh, the type of clothes. Even the colors were picked from Yellowstone. The, the prismatic pools, it's quite an outspoken, bright color palette compared to the other tribes in Horizon. Our goal was really to try to think about what it would be like to be a tribe in, in the natural world, a very specific aspect of the natural world, and then extrapolate from there. Unlike Earth-like tribes, we have robots roaming around. And these also dictate the belief systems, but also their resources. They take parts from the machines and try to almost dress like the machines. The primary spiritual idea that the Banuk have revolves around this concept of the blue light. The blue light that you see in the machine, the eyes of the machines. The Banuk believe that the blue light kind of can only exist in the machines, that it in fact struggles to survive within the human heart. The human heart can't contain this kind of ultimate expression of harmony. It is an ideal that they're constantly striving towards. And it also harkens back to a time when the machines themselves were more peaceful. We have people here who take a very grounded approach. They really try to think about things in terms of function and what's the truth of the idea rather than just what would look cool. We have a very tight relationship with the writing team. An idea for a tribe can come from both our direction or concept artists or a designer or a writer. But usually then we go into the ideation process about really thinking how this tribe could have developed. And then we use short stories that the writing team writes or we use concept art paints that an artist has made and really develop it and look at it from every different angle. And it's really one of the most rewarding aspects of working on a rising. We really come to these really lush and exotic tribes that we can develop.